giving. Read the short story, then answer each question. Cherie was so excited for her birthday. She thought about the fun party she was going to have and the presents she would get. But her mom told her that she had to make room for new toys by choosing some old toys to give away. Cherie was not happy. She loved all of her toys. Her mom sat down with her in front of her toy chest. They looked through the toys one at a time. Most of the toys Cherie wanted to keep, her mom put them in the keep pile. When they got about halfway through the toy box, Cherie saw one stuffed animal that she had forgotten about. Cherie, you forgot about him. Are you sure you will really play with him again? What if you get a new stuffed animal that you like better? Mom asked. Well, now I remember him. I will play with him. That's fine, but there might be someone else out there who would love to have him. Some kids don't have any stuffed animals, said Mom. Cherie said she would decide later. When they were finished, there was a very large keep pile and some toys in the donate and maybe piles. Mom and Cherie cleaned the maybe and donate toys, then put them in bags. They went to a place where kids lived who didn't have homes and asked the workers if they could hand out toys. Seeing the kids' smiles made Cherie so happy, and a lot of kids said this was the only toy they had. Cherie turned to her mom and asked if they could get the maybe bag out of the car. The other kids needed those toys more than she did. Cherie felt so great that her choice made the other kids so happy. Read the following questions and answer carefully. Number 1. Who are the characters in the story? The characters in the story are Cherie and her mom. Number 2. What happens in the middle of the story? Cherie is putting her toys into keep maybe, and donate piles. Number 3. What changes about Cherie during the story? Cherie realizes that she is more fortunate than others. Number 4. Where did Cherie and her mom go at the end of the story?
Cherie and her mom go to an orphanage, a place where kids live who don't have homes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now for more reading comprehension videos.